what's up guys benny here and welcome to another episode of benny's boot camp which i think could quite possibly be the best episode yet because the other day i did a tweet listing my top five players in warzone right now and a lot of people replied saying how is mutex not in the top five and i was like if i'm completely honest i haven't really watched mutex that much and i've checked him out since and Oh my god, he is insane. And we'll get on to why he's so good during this video, because there's a few reasons that I really want to highlight. And also, one of the great things is we have his controller cam as well, which is insane, uh, which you guys can see right below me. But if you are new to the channel, do make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any Warzone content. We've got loads of stuff coming, especially for Cold War as well, because 70% of you watching are not subscribed to the channel. But the gameplay that you guys are watching mutex is using the cr56 which is actually the fastest killing assault rifle in warzone um and it's a really interesting build because it's got the pbx holographic site as well which we don't see many people using but if you haven't already mutex's links will be down in the description below go subscribe to him go follow him uh he's in an insane player first of all reason being is he is the second person i have ever known to run a 2020 sensitivity that is the max sensitivity available to you in warzone which means that any slight movement in your thumbstick and it's going to go flying like it's so hard to control unless you are really used to using it you have to really heavily rely on the aim assist but there are a lot of benefits to having that sensitivity you can be so reactive to what's going on and that's what we see constantly throughout this gameplay is the way that mutex can react and turn like this is a prime example no one else can do this he throws the c4 down cracks the armor and throws in a 360 before annihilating the other player with a couple really nice things here. They, like even like th throw the 360 like away from it, which is a little bit showboaty. Um, he, it's it's insane. Like his lock on is perfect, but then that nice little jump shot just to get the shot over the box, which the other player won't be expecting. Because he'll be pre-aiming the side of the box, expecting Mutex to peak, um, but he's able to pick up that kill, which is really really nice to see. Identifies the target thanks to the UAV, nails this guy out of the sky, and uh, gets the team wipe, which is amazing to see. Uh, the second thing I really want to pick up on uh, with Mutex is he is a fellow claw player, which is a technique for those of you that don't know of how you hold your controller which means that you're holding it like this so you're pressing your buttons like your square triangle um i can't remember the circle x if on a play on a playstation control i'm so used to using an xbox one um but in that case that's what he's using and it means you never take your thumbs off your thumbsticks which means that you can always be as reactive as possible um it's the reason that there are so many different custom controllers out there from battle beaver um who sponsor mutex to um scuff to the xbox elite controller there's so many options now where you have paddles on the back of the controllers but because mutex plays claw he is able to drop shot, slide, reload, all these amazing things uh, to help him win gunfights without ever having to take his thumb off thumbsticks. If it's something you can learn and do, definitely try it. And I, I really want to just point this out. Like, Mutex plays this situation out perfectly. Um, a lot of people, when they get in these situations in a game of Warzone, will rush and kind of push him into a worse position. So he throws the C4, tries to get a bit of an armor hit, pushes him, sees the guy go around the corner. Doesn't just chase him because that means he could be baited into a situation, which you never want to do. You always want to try to get the first shot in a gunfight. Gets those shots off. Starts getting shot from behind. Is then able to flick so quickly because of his high sensitivity. And then lock on and take the other person. The other important thing to take on with Mutex is he has a 0.8 sensitivity modifier, which means when he's aiming down sight, his sensitivity is more like 16, which is higher than everyone else. But it still gives him that little bit of control, meaning that he can make those micro adjustments because he is so used to playing on a 20 sensitivity. If you just look at his right thumb, the way that he moves, it, it's always very subtle movements. It's never a drastic action. You'll never see that right thumb go all the way across. Now, the reason for that is, is it will just throw his aim all complete, like completely off. So he really plays in the center of the thumbstick, which is allowing him to kind of make those like minute adjustments and still land the shots, especially with the uh, assistance of the aim assist. Like the only other person I've ever known, like I mentioned earlier, 
the player of 20 sensitivity was a content creator back in the day and player called insomulus who was amazing back in the modern warfare 3 era um and black ops 2 uh but it's so hard to do i personally wouldn't recommend it there is a reason a lot of the pro players will play on a like a four or a five or a six is because it's much easier to control especially at mid distance and that was just i just realized that was just disgusting what he's just done there like the, he, he fought the guy on the side and was like hold on let me just let me just wall bang you and finish you that way um but that's not the only thing that really makes mute that separates mutex from a lot of players it's sensitivity the fact that he plays claw gives him an instant advantage in so many situations it is really difficult to get used to like playing that way because if you're not used to it it's a i know it's a bit uncomfortable and it's probably not good for you long term to be perfectly honest but that is why there are those controllers that allow you to do it because you need to be doing those advanced movement techniques to get better within warzone like here like use the mp5 close up this is a brilliant play this is a brit this this situation here is a brilliant example of how to completely outplay an opponent so i want to go from it from the start so first of all stun grenade uses that to get an advantage stuns the opponent then pushes in with the mp5 also, that high sensitivity allows him to scan the room to spot where the other player is. Here, doesn't just push the other player. Falls out the window. Very unlucky there because he was going to use the map environment to get an advantage. Throws that C4. The other player is now expecting to get pushed. He goes to outplay and flank the person through the window. Brilliant play. Great use of this building. Something you should definitely do if you're ever in this. But on the third time asking, finishes the opponent. Finishes the guy in the kill. But that... This is a great example of learning drop spots. Drop spots? Well, I can't even speak. Learning jump spots and just finding ways to navigate around the map. So key to getting better at the game. And like things like that will really separate you from the competition and get you a lot more wins in Warzone. Does it really well. This here is a really simple kill. Just shows the killing time of the Amax, the CR-56. Um, fastest killing, like, time to kill assault rifle in the game. Downside with it is it does have a bit more recoil, so it's very hard to control. It's why he's used it. He's not using the commando foregrip. Um, I think he's using the operator grip, or is it the... It's definitely not the ranger foregrip. I personally use the ranger foregrip on it because it helps you give that a bit more recoil control. Um, but your downside with that is you have a lower aim down sight time now this is also another disgusting play uh so if we go here all right i i really love i i cannot tell you the amount of gameplay that i watch from other top players because you learn so many like things and details of like how to do it. like here right you've got two choices here the other player has started shooting him you can either lie down and see if the other person makes a play to push you which they don't always do and you can get your plates off which is what mutex decides to do or you could try and challenge he does quick little pop-ups and down just to kind of see if the guy's pushing so he can cancel that plate if needed um picks that kill here i do not know how he does it that trophy system on the car saves him stops him being able to c4 push him wipes the team with that c4 as an airstrike comes in so clean gets very very lucky there like that could situation could have played out in so many different ways but it's really cool to see also mutex is so good at using stun grenades but even the best players make mistakes pushes a little bit too early there knows can hear the guy above him throws the stun grenade off the door to push we thought it was going to be a little bit further because he wants to hit it as soon as that stun goes off to give him the most amount of time but does it again throws the stun onto the ground just to kind of dip it around the corner and get it to trigger quickly and then he uh has the other person uh, on the team he thought he jumped off the side because he challenged here's the sound of the res so hold on let's just replay this back so does this gets it down guy thinks he's run away so he goes i'm going to quickly res you which can can actually work out a lot of the time but doesn't expect mutex to be right around the corner he expects my to, to have gone downstairs where you would hear him pushing or falling off the side uh they get shot from top hotel ducks into cover gets those plates on as quickly as possible and i here really want to point out the power of moving around the map in a car if you're going for high kill games like this next section these next like kind of 30 40 seconds is going to prove how many kills you can do get if you play like this so has a car person lines up the middle so first things first always when you're in a car and you're about to get out remember you get out of the left hand side driver's seat side if you're sitting in a passenger you'll get out on the right etc but line up your crosshairs with your opponent which means that when you get out of the vehicle which if you see uh on the on hit the controller cam below he lines it up then gets out 
and is able to start shooting straight away. Gets the kill, and the person's still tracking the vehicle. It is one of the most overpowered mechanics in the game because there's no door opening mechanic. You're instantly out and can engage straight away. Gets back in the car straight away. It's going to go, all right, I'm going to go off. Sees a red dot on the map from the UAV. Can spot using the third person camera where he is. Sees him in the car, pushes out, gets the kill. Nothing the other player can do. It's the fastest way you can react, and they have to do a reaction while you're already locked on. Next kill. Does the exact same thing. Sees the guy under the uh, under the bridge hiding there. Lines up. Pops out. Starts shooting straight away. It's instant. So even if the other player was going to start shooting and tracking the car. Can't do anything about it. Same there. Guy pushes. Holds off really well. Doesn't make any serious plays. Like watch how Mutex does this. And this is what a lot of top players are doing right now. So gets shot from the side. Then sits and makes the guy make the play. So then he can pre-aim, sees him through the window, picks up the double kill, wipes that squad. Really, really good play. Uh, then we're getting back to Storage Town once again because of the rotation for the final zone. Using that CR56 Amex and switching to the MP5 depending on the distance of the gunfight. It's what every top player does. Uses his C4s once again. He's running restock, so he's got a constant supply of stun grenades and C4s. Stuns in, pushes through. Gets a double kill. Uh, it gets pushed by another team. Has another C4 after he's throwing them all. Throws it. Breaks the armor. Uses the CR56 for the kill. And that's one of the benefits of using Resock over Ghost. Like having a constant supply of stun grenades and C4s can help you get so many kills. Sees the king coming off the side here. That duo got a little bit unfortunate because if you look at the minimap, you can see a king contract running in, which pulled Mutex towards that part and catches them running into the circle. Quite unfortunate. Um, here, moving in with the gas, getting shots off. That is where the CR56 MX really struggles. There's those kind of little bit further distances because that recoil, you can't beam them as easily as you can if you're using a kilo, for example. So you need to kind of close it down and either mount your gun or like realistically just kind of try again like that. Uh, it does a nice, really nice job. His teammates under fire here, um, but Mutex is going to really play for map position because if you look at the final circle here, it's over the kind of warehouse on the right hand side of the map. So he needs to now get into the center control. So if anyone's on the outside, which Bronny's called out, he has them pushing towards him uh, when the circle starts closing. And that's the situation you always want to get into Warzone. And it's the same. Every top player you watch, they do this time and time again. Uh, sees the guy, that uh, Bronny down, crawling across. Thinks he might have a self-res. Finishes that kill. Bronny's then kind of running across. Gets caught out. And here for me, Mutex makes a little mistake. Because he puts himself into a bad position to go and get this kill. He could have easily held the building behind um and then this guy would have been forced to go to him in like five seconds like how now mutex is running into the circle so try not get yourself in this situation because if the guy on the top of the roof here was a better player he could have killed mutex quite easily thankfully he wasn't mutex gets that kill and has 42 kills and puts himself into a 1v1 for the win Look at the scanning. This is another advantage of having a really high sensitivity. Your ability to constantly scan the environment and try and spot people moving uh, and coming towards you, incredibly high. Uh, I actually love controller cam as well. I find myself just looking at the controller a lot of the time more than your gameplay. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. Uh, pushes through, slide cancelling, scanning the area, stops. Really interesting there. Gives the players a chance to make another move. Knows he's safe and checked everything. He can then hear an audio cue. Here's the guy upstairs and is then able to push. Get some shots off. Once again, a stun grenade. Gets that stun and then is able to push because of that. Because he knows he has an advantage. Also, even though he knows he has the advantage, doesn't just blindly rush in. Look at every time the like map opens up in front of him. There's a pause. He's checked it. Pause again. Checks the corners. Goes. And then he finishes the kill nice and easily end of the thing but make sure to go check out mutex beast of a player uh, i've loved checking out his gameplay recently 43 kills let me know what you think also if you're not already hit that subscribe button right now and go check out some more warzone videos on screen and i'll see you there